Hey guys, how's it going today? We are doing another episode, and uh, yesterday and the day before we went over on how to make a homemade frog trailer, and nobody's really told me what they think or left a comment or subscribed, and that's cool, but if you like what you see in these videos, let me know. And so we're going to do some different colors today. We've got our... We've got black in this cup. And we need to take the black out of the cup so we can do a new color. And so that's what we're going to do. And so... uh while I scrape this out of the cup, let you guys know that this is all, all the rubber I'm using is from beat up plastics. You know, some of my club buddies gave me their beat up plastics that they would only throw out, and I melt it down and I make my own. And, um, and after you start making your own plastics and start catching fish on it, you'll never go back to buying any plastics in the store. Which I'm not saying not to use store brand plastics, but the satisfaction you get from catching fish on your homemade baits. That's where it's at. Scrape this up a little bit more until we get this color out of here, and then we are going to make a new color. This is black, and we're looking to make a green, green pumpkin or something along that lines. I got a pile over here with the color, and we're going to melt it down and see what we get. Most likely, most likely we're going to get a. Uh, a greenish tropical kind of color which is just fine now that I have everything down on the side we're gonna get this color out of here out of our measuring cup now I've noticed that now that I've added salt to my plastic enough salt to really make it sink and be heavier and all the salt goes to the bottom it's really difficult to get it out of my cup I'm gonna have to uh, find a new method to get it out it's kind of just sticking to the bottom that's all but we will get it We gotta get it out. There we go. Yep. Start right there on this edge. Yep. There we go. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Come on out of there, son. We're done with you for now. New color coming through. Just pull your plastic out. That's what y'all ended up with. Just put that to the side. Get all that color out of there. You don't really got to worry about all the little tiny little pieces on the side. They're going to just blend into the next color. 
But any little bit of extra you can get out. You'd be surprised what a difference it makes. And so now, we're going to take our scissors. You know, just showing you guys. I mean, I just have a nice, I just have a pile of beat ups here, greens and whites, lighter colors that we're gonna chop up and put in this cup and see what color we can make. This is gonna be a a watermelon green. With lots of flake. We're gonna check our fluid. Yep, now we're starting to get where we wanna be. Nice and liquidy. Yep. Like our color is ready here. Yeah, looking really good. Do we need thirty more seconds in the microwave? No, we need we need some salt. Get this to sink. Should do it with the salt. Give our base some. We are pouring. Oh, yeah. You guys are gonna like this color. This is the black one. That's a black one. That we did yesterday. I could use my other molds and make more at the same time, but it's just a demonstration. When I'm really making them, I start making seven at a time. Get it rolling. You don't want to sit here and make one bait at a time all day. Take forever to get some baits made. Let some water drip off of it on the napkin and show you the finished product. This is untrimmed. Man, this looks good. Look at that color. Man, you guys can't really see. I don't know how well you can see it in the camera, but this thing's got all kinds of flaky goodness in there. That is so good. Again, this is a green, green trailer. This is a black one from the other day. You tell me if you see the difference. 
Oh my. See the flake in that green? Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. So nice. I've been doing this for two years now, making these. I put a couple of links in the description below where you can find this stuff on eBay, Facebook, Instagram. Sorry about my mess on my ground. I'm a lazy guy. <laughs> but um, until next time, peace. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, and comment.